Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers. And if you happen to be new, it's your lucky day because I just made it through Hurricane Milton and I am in a really good frame of mind. In case you hadn't heard, it's obviously these are not my normal surroundings. I am living in the lap of luxury up at the Doubletree Hilton Hotel. Um, and yeah, uh, it's been a bumpy ride. Uh, went through Hurricane Helene, survived that, got my daughter back on the beaches, and uh, just in time for Hurricane Milton to come through. So um, all is clear at home. You know, it's never easy for an empath to say, oh, I was spared, because we know that that means someone else wasn't. But um, that's Leo. Leo's making his way through because he hears a dog barking. Pet-friendly establishments, aren't they great? Um, but I decided to extend my stay by a day so that I could just freaking decompress because it's hard, you know? It's hard to take on all that energy. Um, so I wanted to do a reading for you. I'm going to do it. It'll. I'm doing it on Thursday. It'll be up on the channel Friday. So as you're watching this, it's Friday. Um, and I want to thank those of you who may have popped into the comments, may have seen my Hurricane Milton updates and been aware of what's going on. I want to thank you for being there. Okay. I am pulling from Gateway of Light Activation Oracle to activate the reading. You are getting Lemurian seed codes, embracing sensitivity, how appropriate, uniqueness, also appropriate, and living with grace. Yes, I know you're not going to be able to see the cards on the table. That's just going to be how it rolls today. Um, but I will hold all the cards up for you so that you don't miss a thing. Also, you know how hotels are with the weird air conditioner things and then it's kind of cold wetness, cold humidity? Yeah, so the cards are sticky. But I'll do the best I can. I'm going to pull the spread, give you my general impressions. We'll go back around with the clarifiers for the details. Here we go. Please keep in mind it's a general reading, um, not a private reading. So it may not resonate for everybody. Take what speaks to you, leave the rest. I do offer private readings. There's a link right below that will take you to the booking page if you're interested. And as always, the energies can come through reversed. What that means is I could be talking directly to a cross watcher. Hmm. Where are you going, Scorpio? Um, what's crossing you here? Ah. So, Divine Feminine is asking, should I stay or should I go? Right? It's about your journey, for sure. It's about your journey, but there's something that maybe you're contemplating leaving behind. It's like, is this even serving me anymore? <laughs> at the root of the problem is, at some point, you're going to have to just go on faith. You're just going to have to take that leap. Um, and, and part of it is where you headed. It, it may be into the unknown. Mm -hmm. There's always a little risk. When we walk away, when we say, yeah, bye bye I, I'm done. I'm moving on. Um, and it may be time, but that's the challenge. That's why the crossing energy here is divine feminine energy. In the past, yes, the world. So the world is Saturn. And it's about cycles and lessons and endings and then new beginnings, closing out cycles. What have we learned? And so I'm feeling, and pardon the weird lighting, like I can only handle, I can only control so much. You know, what's becoming clear? The Ace of Swords is in your conscious awareness. You're like, I'm seeing something clearly now. I'm grokking it. I'm getting it. It was a different lesson then than it is now. I'm seeing it clearly. I'm ready to close something out. Perhaps that could be it. And move forward with this new knowledge and insight and awareness.
and in the and in the near future it's about your future now i read for love and relationships and life partnerships and such twin flames soulmates so i have a feeling this is all about you assessing sizing up where this relationship is headed um so that's what we're really looking at hang on one second I don't think that's a cat toy, so not sure where he found it. Thank you. So let's look at this Eight of Cups and the Empress. Hmm. This is about you taking matters into your hands, take, being the lead uh, leader here, um, Queen of Wands, Three of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. And I'm pulling that Two of Wands from the bottom of the deck. So for those of you who are new here, the bottom of the deck is what you can't see. It's either playing out in your unconscious awareness or it's something else behind the scenes. Regardless, you can't see it. So, hmm, right? The Queen of Wands is a take charge kind of an energy. And the Three of Pentacles is talking about cooperation. We're on the same page. We're building a foundation here for something that could potentially stand the test of time. Where are we headed? Do we want the same things? Are we moving forward in the same on the same path and of course if we're talking about the, the eight of cups we're talking about a path a journey so that's our opener let's go ahead and see the fool at the root of this situation There's some uncertainty. There's some, uh, like, yeah, I might have been here before and it didn't, didn't work out great. And so I've got some apprehension, some stuff's being triggered, right? Regrets of the past, mistakes of the past, been here before. It feels familiar with someone who didn't show up for you then. Could be the same person, but it might not be. It just might be a memory. You know, so there, there you are. Let me move it out of the light. There you are now. The root is, well, if past is prologue in this situation with the same person, then it would be like, a, yeah, I don't know. Um, I want to be sure we're on the same page. right masculine archetype of a life partner if it isn't the same person and it just is something that you've kind of gone through before then you know you definitely want to evaluate it and you do maybe need to have a conversation that you do need to explore to what degree this person is invested makes sense so let's see the world card in the past you want to have a conversation um, and it looks like you have and it looks like you might not have gotten an answer that was satisfactory or maybe it left you 
right? There was something here that happened in a conversation that like was unnerving. And either you met with some kind of shut down, closed off, stubborn, or you shut down because of what you heard in that conversation. And so the world is talking about, well, maybe there was some finality in that conversation, right? The world is endings, but it's also new beginnings. And so I, I'm feeling like something happened here in communication that either shut you down or got you worried, uh, very unsettled about the topic here of are we on the same page? Are we moving in the same direction? Do we want the same things? Are we walking the same path? And now, in your conscious awareness, we have the Ace of Swords. Are we walking the same path? Do we want the same things? Some form of commitment. The legal kind. Because that's what's fair, right? I mean, if you're looking at justice, justice talks about those formalized processes. Um, I know I've got this light on here. I wonder if, yeah, does that help at all? Helps a little bit, maybe. Right? It talks about formalized processes of commitment, maybe marriage, maybe something long term. But it's investment. It's it's fair. It's what's fair. It's what's balanced. But you're coming in like, I want to know. I want it. I want terms. Yeah, Leo, you can back up now because you can't go through that way. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Step over it. You can't chew the you can't chew the cord. Sorry, hold on. Okay. <laughs> so you see you're coming in saying, no, I wanna know. I wanna know. I wanna have the clarity. I want the truth. Um, and interestingly, from the bottom of the deck, we have this Eight of Swords. And so it's sort of like you can't really move forward. You've got this stuckness here at this point because it is about commitment. It is about, you know, that something formalized, something where, well, well this is a promise we're making. The vows we make and take, there are obligations to each other, the responsibilities therein. And so I want to know, are we there? Are you with me? Are we in that part of it together? Are we seeing that the same way? And it doesn't necessarily have to be marriage, but all these cards are pointing to something that isn't casual anymore that has strings attached. So let's look at the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> so in the near future, we have Temperance, and Temperance is talking about going with the flow, you know, um, exercising some self-control and restraint, seeking the balance in things. Sometimes it tells us, you know, over time, all energies come into flow and balance. So you don't want to really be a stress monkey about it. And we get the Ace of Wands and the Aces are gifts from spirit. So it's like go time. It's like, don't stress it, but know that when the opportunity presents itself, then you then you go. And what you can't see, though, is someone might go in the other direction. Right? 
And that's what I think you're here looking at. That's why Divine Feminine comes in with this challenge of do I stay or do I go? Right? Because are they going to stay or are they going to go? It's almost like the fool is your assessment of their staying power, of whether they're in or they're out. You didn't get a clear read on this in the past. The world with the aid of, let me show you this. You didn't get a clear answer or you got uh, something that was a little, you know, had its heels dug in a bit. And it caused you some worry. Um, it wasn't a satisfying conversation. And, and so now you're in this risk assessment, right? Because you're like, yeah, that wasn't very pleasant in the past. And now I got myself some worries here around whether this person is invested. So it makes sense that you're taking the lead on this. Are, are, are we on the same path? Are you, are, cause they, that's nice, but we just determined this is not a cat toy. It's not, it's not, you know how I know? Cause I didn't spend money on it. It's not a cat toy. It's not a cat toy. No, it's not. I love you too. I'll play with you shortly. So you see what I'm trying to say is that going forward, this patience thing, and then when the time comes, what you can't see is, you know, the avoidance continues. Okay? So Scorpio, or whoever you are, if I'm talking to the cross watcher, very possible, um, you're doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing by crossing your T's and dotting your I's and making sure that you're dealing with somebody who isn't being a little sketchy. Okay? And I'm going to look at them in the extended. That's what I do here, is I want to give you something to kind of evaluate a little deeper that's what the extendeds do so we're going to look at them how they show up what what's their assessment what's their take what's their perspective on the on the relationship how do they see you think about you or feel about you whatever cards come through will tell us where they stand with that and then their intentions toward you and the connection so that's what we do there are three links below Option one is like a monthly for Scorpio. It renews every month. Every every Scorpio extended, you get, plus you get some extras. The um, option number two is the extended for this reading only. And option three is the all access pass for everything I do. You get it all, everything I've done, everything I do today, and everything that comes. So consider that. Uh, it, I think it's a great value, but you know, it's up to you. Um, and before I give you the astrology, that showed up here today. Um, hey, if you haven't done it yet, please do subscribe below. That's how I get to stay here on this platform and continue to do what I do, which I love reading. And that's our energetic exchange. Things are getting really tough on the platform. And, um, and yeah, so that's my ask. Okay, here we go. Empress, Venus, Taurus and Libra. Queen of Wands, we got some Aries energy there. Uh, the Fool is um, the planet Uranus, which rules Aquarius. The Moon is Pisces. We have King of Pentacles is Taurus. The World card is Saturn, Aquarius, and Capricorn. We have Taurus again. In the Hierophant, Justice is Libra. And we're coming up on your season soon too, Scorpio, just so you know. Temperance is um, Sagittarius. That is what I have for you. I'm headed to the extended. As I said, the links are below. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.